In this video, we're going to take a look at an individual limit here. It is going to be a limit that we are going to need to um, use L'Hopital's rule with, and we're going to need to do it more than once. So first off, though, you are going to want to try for a direct substitution because you always want to try that first. Um, as x approaches infinity, plugging that into the top, infinity squared is going to give me infinity. Taking that infinity, plugging it in here, e raised to the infinity also goes to infinity. So I definitely do have an indeterminate form. So then I'm going to apply um, L'Hopital's rule. So a little abbreviation there for that. And that means taking the derivative of the top and the bottom. So then I'm going to have the limit as x approaches infinity. Taking the derivative of the top will have a 2x. Taking the derivative of e to the x will have e to the x. All right, so again, we want to check that direct substitution. Plugging infinity in there, infinity times 2 is still going to approach infinity. Taking infinity e to the infinity again will give us an infinity. So again, we have an indeterminate form. So then that means we've got to apply L'Hopital's rule again. So then we'll have the limit as x approaches infinity. Taking a derivative there of the top, we're going to have 2. Taking the derivative on the bottom there, we'll have the e to the x. Now when I attempt the direct substitution, all right, there's nothing to plug in on the top, so it remains a 2. Plugging in infinity here means that this bottom is going to approach infinity and get infinitely big. So when a fraction with the, a top number and then the bottom is getting larger and larger and larger, that approaches 0. So this limit is 0. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.